Hello everyone, this is Andy, and welcome back to another MSI laptop tutorial. Today I am showing you the design concept and the hidden feature of Katana 17 and 15 series. The new Katana 17 and 15 B13V comes with a simpler yet cleaner look. This laptop has a subdued design with rounded corners and edges, along with an angular lid and base. And the MSI badge is also non-colored, which gives it a more humbling look. And the holes on the armor provides subtle but yet efficient heat dissipation. Like a soldier armed to the teeth, the laptop has IO ports that are equipped for your incoming battle. The HDMI port that supports up to 4K 120Hz outputs and a gigabit Ethernet port that provides a stable connection to USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type A, 1 USB 2.0, and 1 USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type C port, which also supports DP Alt mode. The power core of the laptop is an up to Intel 14 core i7 13700H processor, RTX 4060 GPU with DDR5 memory up to 64GB, and 2x ultra high speed NVMe SSD. Also, the screen has 144Hz refresh rate Full HD IPS level panel to provide a smooth Yemi experience. The Katana 17 and 15 series are equipped with a color adjustable 4 zone RGB backlit keyboard with a translucent key and are implemented on the WASD, the arrow keycaps, and the power button, just like a high tech armor. And moreover, it has a number pad that can boost your battle efficiency. With the programmable 4 zone backlit adjustment feature by MSI Center, gamers are able to create their unique keyboard color. On the upper right corner, of the keyboard, you can find the power button. Remember to plug in the power adapter before you first boot the laptop so the factory shipping mode can be disabled. This was designed to prevent laptop from being awakened from the transportation. To enter sleep mode, unlike other laptops, simply hold the power button until it enters sleep mode. The LED indicator color on power button changes from white to orange sometimes. This was actually a special design from MSI. When the LED is white, it means the laptop is using integrated GPU, and orange when it is using a discrete GPU. On the left of the power button, hotkeys F1 to F12 are one of the most frequently used functions on laptops, so by default, it activates the F1 to F12 when you click them. But if you'd like to access the printed hotkey, for example, camera off, just simply click function key plus F6 hotkey. But if you like to set hotkey as default, here's how you toggle between these modes. By holding function key and escape key, the default function will toggle between each other. You will know it is activated with the LED indicator on the ESC key. Next, I will show you the useful function hotkey combination which can be triggered with function key. If you use F1 to F12 as default, but still want to use hotkey combinations, often or not, you may want to configure the function key to be on the left of the keyboard instead of the Windows key. Switching their functions can also reduce the chance of accidentally pressing the Windows key and leaving the game. MSI has an aid for that. You can switch their function in MSI Center. Simply open up MSI Center, go to General Settings, click Switch Key, and function of both keys will be swapped immediately. Sometimes when you are gaming, you might want to increase the amount of airflow just like a turbo engine. This is when the Cooler Boost hotkey becomes most convenient. By pressing function plus arrow up key, the fan speed will rise instantly, providing more airflow to the cooling system. Simply press the key combination again to back to normal fan speed. Tired of sniper rifle with no crosshair? While not in scope mode, crosshairs gets larger when you're firing your gun. By pressing function and arrow down, the crosshair will be right in the middle of your screen. Open up MSI Center, select crosshair display under features page and customize your crosshair to your ideal color and position. You can move the crosshair with mouse, move box checked. You definitely don't want a laptop that is the same with others, and it's even better if you can show your own style. The Katana 17 and 15 series are equipped with a programmable keyboard that allows you to create your own one-of-a-kind gaming laptop. In MSI Center, select Features, then click Mystic Lights, in Mystic Light page, you can choose how the light color pattern changes by selecting the LED style you like, or select the backlit color. There are also three profiles for storing your own customization settings. The cooling system is the main factor that determines how your game performs. 
Antana 1715 series come with a new Cooler Boost 5 design that equips dedicated thermal solutions for the CPU and GPU with up to 6 heat pipes. And by enlarging the internal diameter of the thermal pipe and using MSI exclusive thermal grease to ensure maximum performance under extreme gaming. You don't always use your laptops to play games, right? Just like driving a car, you change your gear shift depends on if you're driving a city or highway. Same thing applies to your laptop. You may use it to browse the internet or complete your assignments. MSI F7 Hotkey can let you switch between five modes easily. There are the Smart Auto, Extreme Performance, Balanced, Silent, and Super Battery. You can configure the detailed setting of Extreme Performance and User Mode in MSI Center. Most of the laptops adopt NVIDIA Optimus technology, which can bring longer battery life by putting the GPU to sleep while idling. However, to bring more GPU performance to users, the Katana 17 and 15 series come with MUX switch design. We can easily switch the GPU working mode by clicking the option in the MSI Center, and the signal transmission will be changed to directly from the discrete GPU after the system rebooting. With the MUX switch, users can easily set the main video output source to discrete graphics, which has been proven that it will bring additional graphical performance and GPU intensive workloads. We can fully release the graphics power and give you the highest performance possible. Hope you guys enjoyed the video today, and thanks again so much for watching. See you guys next time.